1995 Rover Mini Cooper. As you can see, it's finished in British racing green with the Cooper stripes, a white roof, uh, which has had a vinyl union jackpot on it. Rover has done, has done a nice job. There's no sort of bubbles or anything like that. It's nice and straight um, and matching. Wing mirrors, again, if they're not to your taste, really easy to remove. You just peel them off, basically. Right, let's start with the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's wing, the seam down the front there, that's all nice and clean and tidy. There's no sign of any corrosion coming through there. Same goes with the seam where the uh, the scuttle meets the front wing. Again, these are sort of the problem areas on these minis. Um, but as you can see, bottom of the windscreen, along that scuttle is all lovely and tidy. The rest of this front wing is all nice and straight. The seam and everything's all good. Panel gaps are lovely on this one as well. Really nice and straight all the way down. It's on the standard mini light wheels um, with four good tyres on it. Apart from us missing a little bit with the washer, you can see it is nice and clean and tidy in there. There's no sign of any corrosion. The bottom where it meets the uh, the bumper and everything, that's all nice and straight in there. Coming down this driver's side, driver's door, nice and straight. Look down that whole side, you can see lovely and straight. It's not full of filler or ripples or anything like that. It's got nice straight sills on it. Uh, which are vented, so it's got the correct sills on it. Uh, none of these sort of sill covers or any of the cheap, nasty aftermarket stuff. And again, this little sill down here, seam down here, which again is another problem area. Lovely and straight. Where the bead sits all the way along is nice and tidy. You see on the bottom of the door there, it's all good along there. Door shut nice and straight as well. Want this rear quarter. No real marks or anything to note on there. Nice and tidy. Around the windows are all good. And again, the seam up here, nice and straight. In the gutters round here, all nice and clean and tidy. There's no sign of any corrosion coming through there. And then the, uh, the rear pickup point and everything, all nice and solid, all the way around. Another good wheel and tire. This one is missing the center cap, um, but you can get them for about nine quid from mini bits. Coming around out in the back, rear bumper's nice and clean and tidy, as you can see. Sits lovely and straight. Panel behind it, again, tidy. There's no sign of any corrosion or anything coming through there. Boot lid and everything's all nice and straight. Both rear tail lights are clean. There's no cracks, no signs of any moisture or anything in those. And then the lower half below the bumper, all nice and clean and tidy. Again, you can have a good look at the boot floor and everything from under there, that's all good. Around this rear screen, it's all nice and tidy in there. Actually, we'll have a look at the uh, the boot floor while we're in here, because we've had a look at the bottom, we might as well have it at the top. So again, apart from wanting a good clean, nice and solid in there. The important bits in these rear corners, and the inner wings, but again, all really nice and tidy in there. We've got the original toolkit, we've got the boot cover, we've got the battery cover, we've got the spare wheel. Tank looks to be all nice and tidy as well. Again, looking up that passenger side, nice and straight. It's not full of filler, there's no ripples in it. Moving down this rear quarter. Again, same as the other side, pick a point and everything, nice and straight. Another good wheel and tire. There is a little bit of curbing on this wheel. Um, it is worth pointing out, but again, you can get refills very cheaper than being so small these days. The stupid thing is, I think you can actually replace the wheels for the price of a refurb as well. Bottom of the uh, windows along here, all nice and tidy. Gutters and everything along here. All lovely and straight, no sign of any corrosions. And importantly, the roof, nice and straight. It doesn't look like a golf ball or anything like that. It is quite hard to see on the camera with it having the Union Jack, but it is lovely and straight. And again, correct sills on this side. Got all the vents and everything in the right places, all open, so you're not going to get any problems coming down the line. Nice and clean coming down this passenger side. Really is no sort of scratches or anything to note. Oh, there you go, we've got one tiny little scuff just in there. And then this front wing, all nice and clean. The seams on this side are lovely. Bottom of the screen, really nice again. Round on the top, all good all the way around. Pinstripes all nice and straight all the way down there. Coming around on the front, and again, these are another problem area. This seam here, lovely and clean. It's not thick with paint or any signs of corrosion or anything on either side. Really, really good. Grill's nice and straight. It's got the Cooper lamps as well. Chrome bumper on the front is the same as the back. Nice and clean and tidy. Headlamps are lovely and clear. These little seams here again. Another sort of place where the telltale rust starts to go. Lovely and tidy as well. Bonnet itself, nice and straight. Tops of the wings are lovely. We'll have another look on the bottom of that windscreen again. Really nice and tidy on there. If we're going to be really picky, it's missing the little joining clip from the, from the plastic trim, but that is me being mean. 
Moving on to the interior. So a normal Cooper, it's quite unusual to see full leather um, on these later cars, but it, this one has the leather with the white piped and the Cooper embossed seats, correct ones. Nice clean door card. It has the wood pack as well. Wood on the dash, which on these is known for sort of peeling, delaminating. is lovely all the way along. Really, really good. It's one of the best woods we've had in for a long time. Carpet set's nice and dark. It's not covered in ingrained dirt or anything like that. Rear bench is lovely and tidy. Doesn't look like it's been used hardly at all. Headlining, all nice and straight on there as well. This one's done 53,000 miles. If you check the description wheel detail, what we know as far as sort of service history and things like that. No real wear on the steering wheel. Dash top and everything's all lovely on there. Driver's seat, lovely and soft. Bolsters are nice and firm and they haven't sort of collapsed or anything like that. Tiny little bit of wear, but we've been really picky on that bolster. But actually generally really, really good. Moving around to the passenger side again, another nice clean door card. Door shuts on both sides are lovely all the way along. And this passenger seat, lovely and tidy. There's no real marks away. There's no funny smells, no sign of any moisture. And again, you have another look at that word, really good. It's got a Sony aftermarket head unit in there. Even the gear stick is nice and straight as well. Move around on the engine bay. It still has the, uh, the heat shield on here again, which is pretty unusual. Um, but other than that, it could do with maybe a little bit of a clean if we're gonna be really picky. But all nice and tidy in there generally, nice and standard. It's not been messed with with aftermarket air filters or anything like that. We're going to start started up for you there. It was driven to us. Starts on the button, nice and smooth. Nothing nasty flying out the back. So there you have it, 1995 Rover Mini Cooper Injection. Any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.